Hello everyone, uh, this is another Lovecraft edition with a collection of tales from the Library of America. And I got this book uh, to see and check out the quality of the books from Library of America and see how they compare to uh, Everyman's Library books because I've heard they are uh, quite similar. But here we have the book with the dust jacket on. The dust jacket is very shiny <laughs> and it's also thicker than the dust jackets on the Everyman's Library books. But on the front cover we got a portrait of H.P. Uh, Lovecraft. A Lovecraft here in nice letters, tails, and then this band going uh, around the book. And here we have the spine. And the back cover as well. And if I'm going to compare the dust jacket with the Everman's library, then I would say that this feels much nicer. It feels uh, to be of higher quality, mainly because it's uh, coated, uh, but also its thickness. But since the dust jacket is so shiny and coated, uh, that means that it will leave a lot of uh, marks from your fingerprints. Uh, so it will look a lot more dirty than uh, your Everman's library dust jacket, which isn't that great. But on to the book instead, and this is uh, just like Everyman's Library Editions cloth bound, uh, but this is in a nice blue uh, cloth. But here is the spine. Lovecraft here printed in some foil and the logo is also printed in foil but otherwise it's just a blue a cloth binding and then we can continue on inside the book and library of america definitely has nicer end papers than uh, everyman's library a very thick paper uh, for the end papers uh, a nice blue color matches the cloth with the library of america logo But the first thing I noticed when I opened this book up was the extremely thin paper used for this edition. And this book has probably the thinnest paper of any other book in my collection. Uh, but here is the title page, H.P. Lovecraft Tales, and the editor for this edition is Peter Straub and not S.T. Yoshi. And this book is printed and bound in the United States of America. Uh, this is the ninth printing. And here we get the contents of this Book with some pretty good stories and this book also has a chronology at the end notes on the text and notes as well but uh, no introduction or anything like that and directly after the contents uh, the first story the statement of Randolph Carter begins and let's talk a bit about the text and paper the text is actually pretty big and since they use the very thin paper they could add more pages and, and have more freedom to uh, change the text size to a bigger one so the text size is very nice actually uh, but the paper itself is of course acid free it's also cream colored uh, very nice and the paper being so extremely thin was one of the thing i was mainly disappointed of with uh, this edition and i wonder if other library of america editions have the same paper used uh, but I doubt that I guess they only use this paper for their bigger books because considering the 800 pages the book is not uh, big at all you can see it's just the size of my thumb uh, while other editions that are like 500 pages so would definitely be a lot thicker than this but the overall design and layout of uh, the inside of the book is very nice and then we're gonna take a quick look at the chronology not as nicely laid up uh, as Everman's library but uh, we get more text here at least about Lovecraft's life and this is actually very useful and interesting to read. I would guess a lot more information than a regular Everman's library edition would have in its chronology at least in terms of the life of the author and then we have a note on the text and some more information about the library of america series and if you didn't know the library of america only published uh, american authors and at the end we get some nice information about the book it's set in 
Linotron Galliard and the binding material for this book is called Brillianta and the end papers at the back are the same. The book also comes with a dark blue ribbon. And this book has a real Smithsonian binding uh, with a blue and white headband. And the spine is rounded, uh, but not much. And I have to say that this edition definitely opens up way better than most of my books in my collection. And if I compare it with Everman's Library, uh, then the binding is not at all as tight as their books are. And I hope you enjoy this presentation of this Library of America H. Blockcraft collection. And I got this book almost for the double price of an Everman's Library book. So in terms of uh, what you get for your money, uh, then I definitely wouldn't uh, take a Library of America book over a uh, Everyman's Library edition, since the quality was pretty much the same. So the higher price doesn't really justify uh, what you get. But I will see if I decide to buy more Everyman's, <laughs> I mean, uh, Library of America books in the future. I doubt I will. Uh, the Lovecraft edition was more like a a test book that way to see and check out the quality and I wanted a more travel friendly I guess edition of Lovecraft's work also it's quite small and fits perfectly since it's not very thick either but if you have any questions about the edition I showed you or any other edition in my collection then please leave a comment and I will answer it as quickly as I can or please check out my patreon page if you want to the link is in the description or it's showing right over my shoulder here beep but as always thank you so much for watching and I will see you all next time goodbye